Babe teams up with Heaven Preston to create a blast from the past collab that takes us back to what Babe used to be. If you're a fan of the channel, then you know that I personally am no fan at all of all of the streetwear collabs that proliferate the game lately. But this one seems to be a bit more apt. Not to mention, it provides some pretty nice looks. I'm Nate the Great from TakeFlight214.com, and in today's episode of Hype News Update, we'll give you all the info on the upcoming collection as well as show you all of the pictures that are out right now. But before we get started, don't forget to smash that like button. Liking and sharing the video is the best way to get the YouTube algorithms to notice our channel and help us to continue to grow. But with that being said, let's get into this news. Earlier today, photos released showcasing the upcoming collab between Bape and Hero and Preston. Preston takes Bape back to the 90s for a collab steeped in streetwear history and rich with details that old school Bape fans should really appreciate. This is part and parcel to Heaven Preston's retooled approach to collaboration, which he reiterated on Instagram back in April. Wherein he stated, quote, I read your comments, and what I'm reading is that you guys are over the cash grab corporate collabs and calling them boring nonsense, Preston told his audience. Seem you guys are starting to see straight through the crap. Have we hit the tipping point with pointless collabs, end quote? Uh, yeah, yeah, my sentiments exactly. But with this in mind, he wouldn't run it to make sure that his work with the classic brand would not fall into that pointless garbage category. After all, Bape is notorious for collaborating with any and everybody, including recent team-ups with CDG, Jown, and Vogue, of all people. Unlike the collabs with these higher fashion giants, Heeran takes Bape back to its roots with his mashup. Preston's collaboration goes back to the Street Sweepers he created back in 2015 as a homage to Bape rebranding 10 Air Force Ones with hand-cut leather. This was way before Preston was dropping his own 3D printed sneakers and Calvin Klein lines, demonstrating the impact that Bape has had on the young designer. The pieces include classic shark hoodie, Bape head t-shirt, and Bape's the sneakers, all tweaked with oversized graphic prints. Preston also devised a brand new higher contrast color scheme to Bape's signature camouflage. The full zip shark hoodie, for instance, is a Bape classic and Preston does it justice with made in Japanese hoodies and matching sweatpants, complete with plenty of throwback star prints and untouched shark designs on the hood just like the old days. Even the t-shirt with the giant ape head is a nod to the huge branding that used to grace Bape's t-shirts in the old days. Some of the items cues from both imprints, like the Bape's the shoes tinged with Preston's signature safety orange. The capsule is set to release on May 7th across the globe. Bape by Heron Preston will be available on Fairfetch, Heron Preston's website, Bape's web store, and at the flagship shops. I'm not mad at the collab at all. I mean, I like the fact that the pieces look like some of the older stuff with a new updated feel. The color scheme of the camo is a nice touch too. I think it really makes the stuff pop. The orange on the Bapesters are also a good look, even though I personally have never really been a fan of the silhouette. I like this collab a lot. It makes sense, unlike most of the work that Bape has been doing lately. Heron actually makes the pieces look better rather than just slapping the logo on a piece of crap just because they know people are going to buy it anyway. The prices won't be cheap though, but hey, Bape has never been cheap, with the Bapesters being priced at $211 a pair and the Shark Hoodie starting out at $312. But what do you think? Are you a fan of the collection? Do you think it puts you in the mindset of the old school Bape stuff? Hit us up in the comment section and let us know. Also, if you haven't, then make sure to smash that like button. Liking and sharing the video is the best way to get our channel to continue to grow so that we can become more respectable. Also, if you want to be updated every time we drop a new video just like this, then hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. This way, you'll be dinged every time a new episode drops. But with that being said, I'm Nate the Great from TakeFlight214.com signing out. Until next time, peace. Are you tired of the bland ambiance at home and want to add more personality? Well, at TakeFlight214.com, we offer custom canvas prints, aluminum artwork, posters, and much more. We've been in business for over 15 years offering high-quality wall art, apparel, and promotional materials. Any size, any design, we got you covered. Thousands of designs in stock, and we also offer printable files that you can download directly after ordering. So stop by today and check out our aluminum artwork. It's high gloss, high quality, and extremely durable. So if you want to add more life to your living space and have been looking for the perfect artwork to do so, 
then stop by takeflight214.com today because blank walls are boring.